Hey, it's Sebastian from Skycom Solutions, and today I'm gonna to talk to you all about your Windows 10 display settings. So you have a laptop, you're working from home, and you want something that maybe gives you a little bit of a, a bigger view of what's on your computer. And you have an old monitor or an old TV um, and that has an HDMI input and you want to be able to view your work on that large monitor. So I have this example one. This is a Lenovo monitor uh, that I found in the storage at Skycomp here. It's a little bit of an older one, but it still has an HDMI port on it. So it works perfectly for our situation. Your next step is gonna to be to plug your HDMI into your laptop and then the other end of the HDMI into the back of this monitor. And then you're gonna have a second display. And now the whole reason for this video is we're gonna be going through a couple more things um, with your display that you can do other than just duplicate it and just show what you're seeing on your laptop screen on your monitor. And some of you might already know this, this is pretty basic uh, computer stuff, but this video is maybe for a friend or a family member who really struggles with this stuff and might, uh, can, and could use a little bit of help. So that's why Skycom's here. We're here to show you um, those things in a way that everyone can understand. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to our Windows kind of button in the bottom left corner there. It's gonna be on all Windows machines. You're gonna go to the settings option. So we can click settings there. And then you have a whole bunch of different menus for all the settings across Windows 10. And you're gonna to go to system, which has display, sound, notifications, and power. Perfect. And right now we're in display settings. You can see on my screen, you're gonna be able to, to see that. And on this monitor right beside me here, you can see that it has one with a line and two. And that basically means it's duplicating the displays on both monitors. So what display does is it labels each of your monitors with a number. And that number is, if it's a primary, so if it's one, that means it is going to be the main laptop screen, this one right here. So this laptop screen that you guys can't see is my primary monitor. Then the secondary monitor would be this one here plugged in. And if you had three HDMI ports or an HDMI port and a display port, or a Thunderbolt HDMI display port, it would go all the way up to three or four monitors and your first display monitor, your primary would be the one that is on your machine itself and your secondary or third display will be the separate monitors. But right now I have it duplicating. So it's exactly what's happening on the screen in front of me is exactly what's happening on this monitor in front of you. So. That's one way to view your monitors. And usually when you first plug in an HDMI cable, that's what it starts out as. So if you like that, if you just want to be able to see your monitor, great. On a bigger scale, great. And you want, just want two of them, awesome. But most people, if you're working in an office environment like, Skycom, like the Skycom team does, we open Excel, we open different windows, we open different documents, and it really helps to be able to move those things over to another window. So you can keep working on what you're working on, but maybe view an Excel sheet or something else. So let's jump over here. We're gonna just scroll down. And right now it says multiple displays. You don't have to worry about your scale, layout, anything like that until you switch your display. So we'll go over that in a moment. But to duplicate your displays, all you're gonna have to do is hit this drop down and hit extend these displays. So now if you had multiple displays, you might wanna only show data or show the screen on one of those displays. So you would hit show only on one, show only on two, and the other monitor is going to go black. We're, we want to see it on both, and we want to see different monitors on both. So we're gonna hit extend these displays. It's gonna make some changes. Awesome. And we're gonna keep those changes. So right now what you're seeing is a blank monitor screen. So I can show you by dragging over my display settings, I can see, so now you're on a completely different display. So this display is completely separate from this device. The only thing that, that links it together 
is by the side of the of the screen. So you have to find which edge your screen is on. And to do that, you have to go full screen. I like to go full screen with this so we can actually see what we're doing. And then you'll see number one and two. So you'll see that the right hand side edge is connected to two. And if you're ever concerned about what monitor is which, and you don't know what Windows is labeling your monitors, you can always hit identify, and then it tells you in nice big bold letters which monitor is yours. So we know that one is, going, is on the right hand side of two. So we know that two is on the left hand side of one here. So if I go over screens here, I can see it appearing on this screen in front of me right here. Now, if you wanna make the big screen your primary monitor, you can switch things around. You can do so just by scrolling down here. And there's a checkbox that says, make this my main display. And then we can scroll back up to the top. So one, we're selected on one right now because one is blue. So one is our main display. That's this monitor right here in front of me. Number two, if we select that, we can scroll down. It has an open checkbox. So if we wanna make monitor two, which is this monitor beside me to our main display, we can just check that. And now everything moves over. Um, all of our desktop icons that we had on our main display moves over to this one. And you can see on the screen, our display settings move over with it. So if that's what you're looking to do, you can do that as well. If you wanted to add more monitors, you would just plug in more HDMI cables. You would use a Lenovo ThinkPad um, USB-C dock, similar to the one that I have in front of me here. There's another video on these that you can click through in the description if you'd like to watch that. Um, but that allows you to add more ports to something that only has one, like a laptop. And then you can put multiple monitors, including the laptop monitor that you'll have in front of you. Keep in mind that you have to have a strong enough memory and RAM and video card in your system to be able to run more than two monitors. So make sure, talk with your IT provider, make sure that they know what you're doing with your laptop and they'll be able to sell you one that works well with multiple monitors. That's just some advice. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you wanted to add more monitors, you'd see a number three, a number four, and you can rearrange these kind of displays any which way you want. If we want to drag this over here to the other side, it drags. If we want to put it on the bottom, we can do that too. If we want to put it on top, we can do that too. And take note that wherever these monitors are connected, that's where you can go up or if we're on number one now, we want to go down and then the mouse appears on my computer. Let me know if any of this stuff is making sense for you guys. You can leave a comment below if you have any more questions about display settings. Now, one thing we didn't cover is the, the scale of the display. So I'm gonna go back to making this my main display. Or no, sorry, I wanna make one my main display. Perfect, we're gonna check that off. Now my main display is back in front of me here. That's perfect. When you have two types of monitors, sometimes the scaling can be off. Windows does a really good job of auto scaling sizes and making sure that the right resolution matches to your computer. You can see if I scroll down over here, I'll bring this up um, so you guys can see it. There we go. But you can see it's 100% scale and layout recommended. Um, and the, this, the display kind of aspect ratio here is 1920 by 1080. Um, that's great, but if you want to, if you're using a different size monitor, you can go up to the top here, select the monitor that you're using. So we're gonna identify, we're gonna make sure I'm using two. Okay, so this is two. So if we wanna change our scale, again, usually we don't wanna go away from the recommended scale, but if you have a larger 4K monitor or something like that, you'll have the option to do that. And a 1280 by 720 is another common HD monitor size. So we're gonna to switch to that. And we're gonna go back and keep those changes. So you can just see that things got a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit lower res, um, but 
it looks nice and crisp, so that works as well. So even if you have you know, a smaller monitor, you can even see that 1080 compared to 720 um, in your kind of display settings there. You can see what that looks like. But yeah, and if you ever at any point don't like these settings, you can always go back to recommended 1080 by 1920. And we can go back down here and keep changes. So of course, if you have any questions about how to change your display settings, how to make your display look perfect for what you're working with, those are the settings that we broke down today that you're going to wanna to mainly go through and check. Again, if you want to just use your, your main laptop screen and just have a bigger screen with the same thing on it, duplicating displays is really easy. Um, and when you want to have two separate monitors that would be extending your displays. So there's lots of options that you can do within Windows. It's very intuitive, very straightforward. And of course, if you have any questions or need any help, you can always leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help you out. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you learned something today. Um, and if you'd like to see other videos that Skycom Solutions produces, you can click over here. If you want to watch videos on Microsoft Teams, you can click over here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.